risks are linked to smoking. Stopping smoking will reduce your risk of stroke and the risk of people who actually live around you as well. So Professor Fagan, how is smoking connected to stroke and should we stop smoking immediately if we are a smoker? Yes, smoking is a very important risk factor for stroke, as you said. Um, and it relates to, again, promoting atherosclerosis, um, hardening of your arteries, building up plaques in your arteries, narrowing the arteries, reducing blood flow to the brain, and um, forming a blood clots. It also uh, promotes um, blood clotting, um, uh, and uh, those clots could block um, either large or small arteries in the brain, causing um, severe or less severe strokes. It is a very, really important risk factor. Not only active smoking, but also passive smoking. Being in the room where other people smoke, you also inhale the smoke, and the effect is not as uh, big as active smoking, but still significant for stroke. Uh, many people believe that smoking uh, may only affect your lungs, uh, but in fact, it, it affects your arteries and increases the risk of heart attack or uh, stroke, particularly ischemic stroke and particular type of um, um, uh, rupture of the brain arteries at much greater degree than it affects your lungs. Uh, and the other um, common misconception about smoking is that if you start, if I start smoking um, and I smoke for 30, 40 years, I should not stop smoking. No, it is uh, not true. Um, as soon as you stop smoking, your risk of heart attack or stroke drops down significantly. In five years, it will be half of the risk of what um, a normal population, non-smoking population has. And in 10 years, your risk of having heart attack or stroke is the same as the people who never smoked. So the risk is immediate, next day is benefit, but over time the benefit builds up. Um, the other thing which is particularly important um, for people um, who think they smoke just one cigarette a day or two cigarettes, oh, it's not a big deal. Uh, no, it is almost similar um, um, risk of stroke or heart attack as in people who uh, smoke more cigarettes. Of course, the more cigarettes you smoke during the day, the higher the risk. But even one cigarette a day carries a risk and significant risk. Um, uh, be, be, um, and research showed that uh, smoking in the past is particular um, uh, risk for having forming um, uh, blurbs of you, on your brain arteries that may cause rupture and bleeding in your brain. Of course, current smoking is uh, particularly hazardous for, for the risk of bleeding into your blood, but even past smoking for subarachnoid hemorrhage, particular type of intracerebral, uh, intracranial bleeding I explained you before, is related to smoking in the past. So avoid smoking by all means. Um, in New Zealand, uh, we have special government supported program, green prescriptions where people can get uh, special patches on the skin uh, to reduce their um, desire to smoke, and uh, it is quite effective. There are also um, cognitive behavioral therapy, psychotherapy to help um, um, stop smoking. Um, 
And what I need to emphasize is only complete stop smoking can reduce your risk of stroke or heart attack. Uh, uh, just reducing uh, the number of cigarettes is not going to make the whole um, deal. You will still be at risk. Only complete stop, complete cessation of smoking uh, will bring you full benefits. How about vaping, which um, is it similar to smoking or what should we do with that? Yes, the most recent research showed that vaping is a hazard for your health. It increases the risk of heart attack and um, stroke to lesser degree than normal smoking, but still significantly increased risk of those devastating conditions. So vaping should be avoided. Brilliant. So um, best never to start. That's one big thing. But if you are a smoker and you want help to quit smoking, you can ask your GP for advice. And um, you can also call Quitline, um, which is a great support service here in New Zealand. Um, their number is 0800 778 778. Um, or visit their website on www.quit.org.nz. They can give you a lot of advice uh, and help. And um, yeah, they are there 24 seven if you do need to call them. Have a look at our Don't Be The One NZ um, stroke prevention campaign on our website, www.strokecentral.org.nz or follow us on our Facebook pages um, for regular updates and more info as well. Stroke prevention is key and if you can, quit smoking straight away.